I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on algebra. Here we have multiple choice questions based on a very important formula which we are going to derive as a solution of question number one. And in question number two, we are going to apply the result to get quick solution to one of the very important question from many tests or exams which involve multiple choices. So there's a slightly higher algebra which you may find very interesting and useful. Question number one here is, if x plus one over x is equal to square root of three, then find x to the power of six. So we need to find the value of x to the power of six and we are given that x plus one over x is equal to square root of three. Four choices are given to you. Now question number two is, if x plus 1 over x whole square is equal to 9, then find the value of x to the power of 72 plus x to the power of 60 plus x to the power of 42 plus x to the power of 36 plus x to the power of 18 plus 1. So that becomes a very complicated question indeed. You will notice that in question number 2, x plus 1 over x is really equal to square root of 3, right? You can do square root and then what you get here? is uh, sorry this number should have been should have been 3 so let me rewrite this so x plus 1 over x will be square root of 3 okay so it is kind of related so if you know the answer of question number 1 that result could be used in question number 2 to solve I hope that makes sense correct now let us see how to find the value of x to the power of 6 when we are given x plus 1 over x equals to square root of 3. Okay, so what we are going to do here is, to begin with, we'll do cube of x plus 1 over x, right? So we'll do cube of this. So I hope you remember the formula for the cube, which is a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b cube right now you could actually uh, rewrite this formula in kind of a factored form rearranging we could write this as a cube plus b cube right and the terms in between are 3 a b is common so we'll say plus 3 a b so if you take 3 a b common you get b a plus b, right? So, a plus b. Does it make sense to you? So, that is how you could actually write the formula for a plus b whole cube. So, we are given x plus 1 over x as square root of 3. We'll just cube this and rewrite. So, x plus 1 over x is to the power of 3. So, when we cube, or what do we get? We'll apply this formula, right? So a cube plus b cube. So cube of x will be x cube plus cube of 1 over x will be 1 over x cube plus 3 times a b. That means 3 times x times 1 over x. And within the brackets, you get x plus 1 over x, which is sum of a and b, right? So we get x plus 1 over x, correct? Now we know that x plus 1 over x is equal to square root of 3, so we'll kind of cube this. So that is how we will begin. Now in this, what you really see is that x cube plus 1 over x cube can be written as equal to, let's rewrite this. So from here, what we get here is that x cube plus 1 over x cube uh, x over x cancels, right? So plus 3 is equal to, sorry, in the bracket we have uh, x plus 1 over x, right? Is equal to 3 times square root of 3, right? So when you cube this, that is what you are going to get. Now, we know what is the value of x plus 1 over x. It is square root of 3. So we could write this as x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus 3 times, this is square root of 3, equals to 3 times square root of 3. 
Now that really means that x cube plus 1 over x cube should be equal to this minus this which is 0. To solve this equation, we could take x cube as a common denominator, right? So if I take x cube as a common denominator, I get here x to the power of 6 plus 1 equals to 0. Now denominator cannot be 0. That means x to the power of 6 is or plus 1 is equal to 0 or x to the power of 6 is equal to minus 1. So we get the result for x to the power of 6. So from here, what we learn is that if we are given that x plus 1 over x is square root of 3, in that case, x to the power of 6 is equal to minus 1. Perfect. So that is a very important result which we have got here, right? So that is the derivation for this particular result. Now, once we have got this, then let's try to understand how to solve the given question. Now, in question number two, we are given that if x plus 1 over x square is 3, that really means that really means that what we are given here is x plus 1 over x is equals to square root of 3. Now, if that is the case, in that case, we know that x to the power of 6 is equal to minus 1, which we have just derived. Correct? Now, we could use this result to solve such expressions. Now, when I say x to the power of 72, 72 is a multiple of 6, 60 is also a multiple of 6, 42 is 6 times 7, 36 is 6 times 6, 18 is 6 times 3, and the number 1. So what we could do now is rewrite this expression as powers of 6. So we could write this expression as x to the power of 6 to the power of 72 becomes 12. Now here it is x to the power of 6 to the power of 10. And this is x to the power of 6 to the power of 7. That gives you 42 plus x to the power of 6 to the power of 6. And this is x to the power of 6 to the power of 3 plus 1. Now, when you have even power, since we know this is x to the power of 6 is minus 1, let me rewrite here, minus 1 to the power of 12 plus minus 1 to the power of 10 plus minus 1 to the power of uh, 7 plus minus 1 to the power of 6 plus minus 1 to the power of 3 plus 1. All these powers which are even will result into positive 1. So we get this as let me push this a bit here. So we'll get this as 1. Here again we get positive 1. 7 will result into negative 1. 6 will result into positive 1. To the power of 3, negative 1. And then we already have 1 here. So what do you get? So there are two negatives which kind of cancel it. So this cancels with this and this cancels with this, right? So these cancel. We're left with 1 plus 1, which is 2. So the answer is A for us. You get the idea. So that is how we could actually solve such a question. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.